a sewn-in piping. Today we are going to work with it. Last time we showed you a skirt suit with a sewn-in piping, and today we will show you some designs in the magazines and how to work with the sewn-in piping. And now we're going to have a lesson on how to sew such piping in. Let's have a look at the magazines. These are the magazines from the batteries that I've showed you, and now I want you to see the designs with the sewn-in piping. Look here. This is a usual raglan coat, but at the collar, raglan, and in the middle of the sleeve it has a sewn-in piping. We can also see it on the back of the coat. I show it to you just as an example. Now look here. These are the summer pants with the sewn-in piping on the turned ups, belt on the waistband, the edges of the cuffs and on the blankets. The sewn-in piping is in trend now. Now take a look here. I show you just some things. Look at this design. Here's a log. From under it comes the sleeve. See this union piping? Here, here along the edge, on the back. Look how the color is made at the back. Now have a look here. It's a striped chemise with a sewn-in piping and the black is beginning. Very stylish. There's probably some on the yoke. Just one piping and the thing looks amazing. Here we have a relief, which turns into the vaults. Here the sewn-in piping to the vault on the traverse yoke. You can see that the bottom was cut and then attached on the sewn-in piping. Very beautiful. And here we have two designs. It consists of the two fabrics, one another. And here is also used the sewn-in piping, a lot of it. The lacy gussets are also separated by the piping. We are talking about the technology of the sewn-in piping usage. There are a lot of options. Now let's have a look here. This is a summer pantsuit. On a jacket waistcoat without sleeves, we have a sewn-in piping on the collar and on the pocket. How interesting it looks, very unusual. And here is a chemise. There is a sewn-in piping on the placket and on the pocket. I have shown you just a few variants of the sewn-in piping designs. On the edge of the sleeve, plackets, turn-ups. You can use it anywhere, it's not important. What is important is how to do it. That's what we're going to show you. Natasha will help us. She came in here today just to teach you, so please be attentive. If you do everything that she shows, you will succeed. Take a look at this union piping. It's Japanese and of a very high quality. However, any piping consists of the warp which is union and the part which stays visible. We need to see it right on the cuff. So we are going to use a one-sided tab. Let me change the tab and we will start making our models. We decatize our piping. It's better to do it in advance so that it doesn't crimp later. You need to steam it thoroughly, better not once. Be very careful. Firstly we stitch our piping on the front side. The needle should be as close to the piping as possible. Those of you who have the usual sewing machines, use it to your advantage and move the needle to the right and to left edges of the piping. We stitch it to the front side of the cloth. Let's imagine that it's a cloth and not a sample piece of fabric. That's how it should look like on the front side. Let's continue working. Cover it front to front. 
Natasha is going to pin it together. If you are not confident enough, please take it. And now look here. We sew right in our stitching. We turn the fabric and sew right in our stitching. Do not ask if we should glue it or not. It depends on the item and its details. For example, we showed you a skirt suit with a double flounces. If you want to make a placket in a chemise or a collar, of course you should glue it. Sew it as you usually do. We just show you how to work with this union piping. If you don't stitch right in a cuff, a white stripe will be seen on the inside. A white stripe on the piping. You see it? We need to sew very carefully so that the white stripe is hidden inside the stitch. Take a look here. That's how the piping should look like. Let's move to the ironing desk now. We iron it firstly and then continue working so that we don't have any curves. Look at our sewing and piping. Notice that it can be placed anywhere, not necessarily on the edge of the item. I like to watch how gently Natasha irons. Very sensitive ironing. Just imagine how nice it would be if everyone was ironing like Natasha. Look here, it could be any detail with the piping. Do not put it on the edge. It can be placed in the middle. Very beautiful. We will show you. If it's the edge of an item. Okay, let's iron it first. If it's the edge of an item, collar, belt, or something else, then we need to tack and stitch it firstly. If it's in the middle of an item, on some detail, you just need to iron it and process it with the overlock sewing machine from the inside. If it has a lining, you don't have to do it at all. Look how we tack it with a slant of small stitches. We use slant stitches because they hold better. You've also seen them on the suit with the flounces. You need to learn how to tack it circle-wise. We need to double it tack and iron. Just like Natasha is doing it in a straight line now, you need to do it circle-wise. We tack it to straighten the edge so that even if we iron a suit, the folds do not cover the piping. We iron it gently and then we stitch. We sew just one piece and another stays loose. We showed you how to do a piping not on the edge of an item. Let's go to the sewing machine. Look here, now we put a usual tab, remove a one-sided one. You should have a screwdriver at hand. Do not forget about the organization of your workplace, what you should have at hand. Now we remove the thread and our model is ready. You can use it on the flounces with the round edge, do not be afraid of the round edges, flounces, circled colors. The same technique. Just be a bit more careful and attentive. You just need to tack and iron everything on time and everything will be okay. Now look what we got here. Imagine it was a collar or a belt, it would be so beautiful. Or it can be a middle of an item, relief for example, also very nice. Firstly, we showed you a suit with the sewing pipings, then I showed you some models in the magazines, 
And finally, we showed you how to sew this piping in. We have spring and summer ahead, and we will make ourselves beautiful in any way possible. We are Pauk Shterin Mikhailovna and Yastrybov Alexei. Goodbye.